like I, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't say for sure just now, but I would hope that, you know, I know what it feels like to lose in finals, um, in a Wimbledon final, and I know what it's like to win it, and it's certainly a lot better winning, and, you know, it's worth putting in the, the hard work for. Um, I didn't know last year that it was worth it because I'd never won a Grand Slam before, but after the US Open last year, you know, you realise that the hours that you put in training and preparing and working on the, the practice court, um, it's all worth it. So I hope that, you know, this is a springboard for me and I'll, I'll use it um, to my advantage. Within tennis, Winning Wimbledon is the is the pinnacle, um, and yeah, I don't think I'll ever ever top that. Fred, where are you? Along the line from this side. I I had to watch it a few times to remember actually what had happened because when I came off the court, I mean, I had no recollection of that game, none of the points in it at all. Um, it's just a, it was just a crazy way to, to finish the game and I don't think it would have happened for me any other way and for everyone watching, you know, it needed to be like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've known him since I was 12 um, and like when we finish playing, I'm sure we'll get on really well with each other. Right now, it's, you know, it's hard to be best, <laughs> best of friends because we're competing in these matches. They're so tough physically and and mentally and you know the matches we play are just it's just they're just brutal they're physically so challenging and um, yeah I mean it's nice in, in some ways that we've known each other since we were kids you know our parents uh, you know have seen us kind of grow up together as well so I'm sure for them it's it's nice but um, right now it's just it's hard playing against him because he's such a such a good player and um, it's hard to be be too close to each other